In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening. Good evening, Father. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as another world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary, my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you the sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter his king of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter his king of glory. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, the gospel about his son, descended from David according to the flesh, but established a son of God in power 
according to the spirit of holiness through resurrection from the dead Jesus Christ our Lord through him we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles among whom are you also who are called to belong to Jesus Christ to all the beloved of God in Rome called to be holy grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ the word of the Lord thanks be to God please stand The virgin shall conceive and bear and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child to the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said to the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ikatlong araw ng ating pagsisiyam bilang paghanda sa kapanganakan ng ating Panginoon. At ang ating Ibanghelyo ngayon ay nakasentro kay San Jose. Isinalarawan sa ng ating Ibanghelyo bilang isang taong matuwid. He was a righteous man. Isang taong matuwid. Si San Jose, nasa kanyang katangian ng isang tunay na lalaki. Ano yon? Apat. Katangian ng mga kay San Jose. Masipag, tahimik, responsable, madasalin. Una, masipag. Si San Jose, isang manggagawa karpentero. Hawak niya martilyo at lagari. Marunong siyang magbanat ng buto. Ang kanyang pinapakain sa kanyang magina ay galing sa tulo ng kanyang pawis, hindi galing sa nakaw. Kaya si Jesus ay lumaki na malusog, matalino at mabait sapagkat ang pinapakain ni San Jose ay malinis. Galing sa tulog ng kanyang pawis. Ayaw natin ng mga taong tamad. Kahit tayo nasasaktan, 
Pag tayong mga Pilipino, tinatawag na Juan Tamad. Ito'y bansag sa atin ng mga banyaga. Hindi ito galing sa atin. Juan Tamad? Sabihin mo yan sa mga magsasaka na buong araw ay nagbilad sa init upang pag-uwi may makain ng kanilang mag-anak. Sabihin mo yan sa mga namamasada, sa construction worker, sa mga mangingisda, sa mga nagtitinda, sa lahat ng mga manggagawa na ginagawang araw ang gabi upang may makain ng kanilang pamilya. Tapos sabihin mong tamad? Hindi po. Hindi namin tatanggapin yan. Ang Pilipino ay hindi tamad. Pwedeng tawagin Juan Masipag, pero hindi namin tatanggapin na kami tatawaging tamad na. Aral kami kay San Jose. Masipag. Pangalawa, si San Jose ay lalaking tahimik. Sa Ebanghelyo, hindi natin siya narinig na nagsalita. Kahit minsan, hindi, wala. Mabuti pa si Maria, itong beses siyang nagsalita. Pero si Jose, wala. Tahimik lang. Lagi na sa background, nasa likuran lang siya. Kaya turingan siyang sleeping St. Joseph eh. Hmm? Siguro dahil siya ay masipag, aking pagod, kaya pag patak ng dilim, tulog na. Oh. Yan yung mga lalaki eh. Hmm? Hindi, may, hindi maingay sa araw dahil busy. At hindi maingay sa gabi dahil nantok na eh, matutulog na lang. Ayaw natin ng mga lalaking maingay. Hindi bagay. Ayaw natin ng mga marites. Eh lalo na, ayaw natin ng mga parites. Pare, anong latest? Lalo na, ayaw natin ng mga pare sa'yo. Pare, anong sabi sa'yo? Ay, numero unong chismoso. Ayaw natin, hindi bagay sa mga lalaki, ang maingay. Ang sabihin ng tahimik ay alam niya kung kailan sa magsasalita, alam niya kung paano sa magsasalita, at alam niya kung ano ang laman ng kanyang salita. A silent person knows when to speak, how to speak, and what to speak about. Kaya pag magsalita siya, malaman niya. Makikinig ka kasi may sustansya yung sinasabi niya. Eh. Walang ingay, walang gulo. Tahimik, tulad ni San Jose. Pangatlo, si San Jose ay lalaking responsable. Hinaharap niya ang kanyang responsibilidad. Hindi niya tinatakasan, hindi niya iniiwasan. Hinaharap, tinatanggap. Kasi may mga lalaki na hindi marunong tumanggap ng responsibilidad. Gusto lang mag-asawa, ayaw maging ama. Pagkatapos magkaroon ng anak, papabayaan ng kanilang anak. Hindi si San Jose. Buong buhay niya, ginugol niya sa kanyang mag-ina. Pinalagaan, pinagtanggol. Lahat ginawa niya sa kanyang pamilya. Yan ang tunay na lalaki. Responsable. Inuuna ang kanyang pamilya. At may respeto siya sa mga kababaihan at sa mga kabataan. Hindi na sinasaktan. Hindi nululoko. Hindi pinagsasamantalahan ang mga mahihina at ang mga walang kalaban-laban. Yan ang tunay na lalaki. Tulad ni San Jose, responsable. Hindi tinatakasan ang responsibilidad. Ikaapat, si San Jose, lalaking madasalin. Marunong magdasal. Diyan po sa likuran ng simbahan, may seminaryo diyan, novitiate, nandiyan yung mga seminarista. At sa seminaryo, mayroon ang imahe ni St. Joseph. Maganda eh. 
Uh, si St. Joseph, nakatayo siya. Tapos, sarap niya si Jesus, nakaluhod, nakaganon yung kamay ho. Tapos, hawak-hawak ni St. Joseph yung kamay ni Jesus. Pinagdadaok niyang kamay na parabang tinuturuan ni San Jose na magdasal si Jesus. Joseph teaching Jesus how to pray. Bakit tinuruan ni San Jose na si Jesus magdasal? Kasi siya ay taong madasalin. Hindi mo maring ituro ang hindi mo alam. Ang tunay na lalaki, marunong magdasal. Sabi nila, yung simbahan daw ay parang lang sa mga babae, mga bata, at mga matatanda. Hindi po. Hindi po. May mga lalaki rito. Sabi, at tumayo mga lalaki sa ng simbahan, mga lalaki, tayo kayo. Mga lalaki, tayo. Tayo mga lalaki, tayo. Tayo. Kahit sa labas, tumayo po kayo. Tayo, tayo. Palakpakan po natin ang mga lalaki. Saludo po kami sa inyo. Yan yung mga lalaki. Marunong pumasok ng simbahan. Alam ko, takot pasok ng simbahan, mga demonyo eh. Marunong magdasal. Marunong magluhod. Lumuhod sa harap ng tunay na Diyos. Ayan. So yan ha, yung apat na katangian ni San Jose. Ano yon? Masipag. Responsable. Tahimik at madasalin. Mahirap bang gawin yun? Hindi. Madali lang naman eh. Ang maging masipag ka, hindi naman tayo tamad eh. Yung maging tahimik ka, hindi naman tayo likas ng mga maingay eh. Ang maging responsable ka, hindi naman tayo responsable eh. At yung magadasal, maging madasalin ka, lagi naman tayong nakakaalaala sa Diyos eh. Hindi yun mahirap gawin. Ito yung magandang paalaala sa atin ha. Uy, mga misis, maswerte kayo, ha? Kapag ka ang asawa niya ay tulad ni San Jose, masipag, tahimik, responsable, at saka madasalin. Ay, maswerte kayo. Makasalamat kayo sa Diyos. Hmm? Pero kung hindi, ay, wala kayo maghanap ng iba, ha? Ay, maging kontento kayo at ipagdasal niyo yung mga asawa ninyo. Pagnubinan niyo kay St. Joseph para tumulod sila. Ha? Oh. At kayong mga kadalagahan, no? Pag may manligaw sa inyo, pag may makita kayong lalaki na tulad ni San Jose, masipag, tahimik, responsable, at madasay na ba? Dakmain nyo na kaagad. Hmm? Mahirap makakita ng ganung malalaki ngayon. Ayan. So yan ha? Kaya ito yung magandang pagnilay-nilayan natin. Habang nalalapit na ha, yung araw ng kapanganakan ng ating Panginoon, pagnilayan natin. Yung suriin natin yung ating sarili, babae ka man, lalaki ka man, tingnan mo, ko makatangian ni San Jose na sa sayo. Ko ba'y masipag? Ginagawa ko ba ang aking dapat gawin? Ako ba'y tahimik? Nagsasalita lang ako kapag kakailangan at totoo ang sinasabi ko? Ako ba'y res ay responsable? Ginagampanan ko ba ang responsibilidad ko at hindi ko tinatakasan at pinapabayaan? At ako ba ay totoong nagdadasal tulad ng ginagawa ko ngayon? Panginoon, mahal na ina, turuan mo ako na maging katulad ni San Jose. San Jose, ipanalangin mo kami. Kasi tayo po tayo. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. To Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of the sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord constantly invites us to be His partners in the implementation of His plan. Aware of our weaknesses, let us plead for His help as we say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the Church may fully trust in God, especially in times of trial, and be constantly faithful to Him. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us that all those in a position of authority in the Church may always offer a shining example of cooperation with the Lord in carrying out His plan. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That the policymakers of our society may always plan activities that are fully in accordance with God's law. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That our youth may plan their future after discerning God's will through prayer and with the guidance of wise persons. We let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all of us who are participating in the Simbangabe may be faithful to our commitment to cooperate in the fulfillment of God's plan. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, grant us the grace to imitate the example of Saint Joseph and make our lives a faithful instrument of your plan. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as He filled with His power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of this nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now, in love and confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace with be with you.
please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng kumunyon, Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng kumunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Maraming salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws nearer, so may we press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy po nating pagnilay-nilayan at isabuhay ang mensahe ng ating ibanghelyo para sa misang ito. Tularan natin si San Jose. Maging masipag, tahimik, responsable, at madasalin. Nang sa ganon, maging masaya ang ating Pasko. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing. Ngayon po yung dasal para sa mga may sakit. Yung mga may sakit po naririto po ngayon, at kahit wala po rito, pero naalaala po natin sila ha. At maring ang kanilang kalagayan ay mas maluba kaysa sa atin. Isama po natin sila sa dasal na ito. Marahan po nating banggitin ang kanilang mga pangalan. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick 
brothers and sisters, free them from all sickness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulars, crucifixes, and the articles of devotion be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.